Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video will take a look at Lovo AI tutorial for beginners. If you want to discover all the features, you want to know a lot about pricing and how to use it in general. So you've come to the right place. So as you can see, here we are on Lovo.ai and on the main page we can find a lot of information so basically Lovo is AI voice generator so we can create hyper-realistic AI voice um, inside of this uh, platform you don't have to download something everything is online on their website so they have a lot of different uh, features for example they have like online video editor text-to-speed generator and also they've added voice cloning and AI writer recently so there are a lot of features and it's really interesting to interact with Lovo because if we're going to open their prices we can see that we can use a free trial like two weeks free trial of pro with unlimited sharing and then we can discover their prices like $24 per month uh, 48 and 149 uh, if you're going to pay early but if you're going to pay monthly we'll get these prices right up here i don't think that it's it's not that expensive we'll get like two hours of voice generator five hours and 20 hours basically that's pretty cool so in order to create an account just simply click on sign up in the right top right up here or sign in basically it doesn't matter so uh, you can easily create it with your uh, google account and after that you'll come to this page where we have a couple of options so basically they recommend us to use the first thing here we can create a short voiceover or use the auto subtitles option so we can click on a start project and in a few seconds we'll come to our project page but firstly i would like to open our dashboard so let's click on icon with the uh, like logo in the left top and here we have our workspace where we can create a new project by clicking on this button here we can manage our existing projects we can click on more we can duplicate delete and do some other stuff also in the left side we have a couple of options we can create different folders uh, we can click on production to see some other files we can interact with and also we can invite friends to add them to our workspace let's open an existing project here so uh, we'll come to this page here where we have our workspace so uh, basically we have a preview of how will our video look like now it looks like just a black screen here also we have the option to save export change the aspect ratio so we can change it to different formats like to instagram format squared format to vertical for youtube shorts tiktoks and some other things uh, also in the left side we have our instruments we can interact with media from stocks or we can upload our own uh, media inside from your computer also we have the option like text to speech <laughs> to create a voiceover uh, subtitles where we can uh, generate auto subtitles voice to subtitles we can add them manually or upload the srt file also we have the option to interact with different text templates to interact the fonts styles and so on ai generator where we can add um, we, where we can generate images with the help of prompt we can make the sound effects here and also we can add the basically text we can generate script from this page here so basically all we need to do is to select like select below to create content for example explainer videos let's click on next describe your product as a why so here we can like why nature is important so who is your audience let it be like adults uh, what is your objective educate what are the key message so uh, nature is important. Uh, let it be like entertaining and we can click on create and as you can see in a few seconds we'll get our script so we don't have to use some other AI like chat GPT or something like this so yeah it looks pretty decent we can edit it and insert 
So let's click on edit and insert. So basically, uh, this is the way of how to interact with the main interface here. And in order to interact with text to speech, the most important feature, uh, we just simply need to click on the every single object. So as you can see, we've add, we'll, we added these characters and let's try to see how will it look like now. So let's click on play here to listen. Now we don't, uh, it's, it's impossible to hear something. So let's try to interact with uh, our like text. So if you're going to click on the timeline to our text, we can see it highlighted on our work area. So what can we do here? We can play, uh, we can Hello? also interact with uh, text inside. So let's try to listen. Hello, hola, namaste, and welcome to Jenny. So as you can see, it's not that like hard to interact with that. Uh, we can like manage text inside. So let's try to add some options about, for example, let's use this text here about nature. Uh, and uh, we can change the voiceovers here. If you're going to click on these uh, triangle to change it. So we can find a lot of different uh, actors with different languages, English uh, and others. Uh, we can manage the like different types of voices, global voice, voice cloning. We can add our own um, voice here and basically nothing hard. And then uh, we can add the fade in. For example, let's try to add a fade in and we'll listen how will it look like. So let's try to click on play. It may take a little time until everything will be uh, like organized here. We can change the voice as I said, and also we can manage the pronunciation. So we can add a new words, uh, we can change the language and could be really important as for us. So in this case, uh, Hello? now it will look like this. So let's try to, yeah, ready to generate. Let's click on generate. And in a few uh, like seconds, it will be operated. And basically this is the main uh, like option of like low AI or now it's called Jenny. So let's try to listen. Nature is an important and integral part of mankind. Yeah, as you can see, it sounds really good, really realistic. And when everything is done, when you've managed all the voiceovers here, uh, we can click on export in the right top. Uh, change, manage the name, manage format, so we can export it as video, as audio, like two formats to audio, MP3 and WAV. Change the resolution, so let's import, export it as uh, audio, and then just simply click on export right up now. And in a few seconds, everything will be done, and our video or audio in this case will be automatically exported. So this is a way of how to interact with Lolo. Hope this video helped you out. And basically, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very, very good day. Click on download here and get it. So goodbye, guys.